Hi guys, this is Katja with Creatives Image Studio. This week I'm sharing a tutorial to create this card and I will tell you why in the tutorial. So let's do it. A while ago I uh, created this cute little micro album and I only used two sheets of double-sided design paper. Now I had this piece of design paper left over, so this is double-sided. And, uh, well, I don't know about you, but I always find it pretty hard to just throw these things out if they are this large, because I was thinking, well, there should be something that I can do with this. So usually I make a card, so that is what I'm gonna do right now. Now, I had this uh, little card in my stash. This is a, sort of a, a demo piece by a, a company that, um, I sometimes use to uh, to have my uh, the digital patterns that I design to make my own cards and have them professionally printed. I do this with that company. So they send these blank demos. So this is what I had left in my stash. Now, if I would put this onto here, that would leave a rather large margin and too large for my taste. I am more of a very small margin kind of crafter like this. I am going to show you uh, what to do if if your paper does not actually fit the, the material that you have. Now, what I do, which is what I'm going to show you, I'm going to measure the height of my paper. So that is 9.7 centimeters well 9.6 actually and i want my margin to be one millimeter so i'm going to add two millimeters to the length of this uh, piece so one millimeter here and one millimeter here is two millimeters so my card should be 9.8 centimeters so in centimeters 9.8 this is actually 10.2 so I will have to cut this down. So I'm gonna do that off camera uh, because the frame is too small. Okay, so I have now cut it down to 9.8 centimeters. So now my paper should fit. Yeah, it's actually a bit tight, but it will do. And now I have to make sure that I cut it up in the right size. So this would be 9.9 .9 centimeters in this example, my mat. So I subtract a millimeter here, I subtract a millimeter there, and then it's 9.9 .9 centimeters. So I'm gonna cut myself three pieces. So front, back, and inside, and it's double-sided. So the inside will be like this, and then the outsides will be like this. Now for the outsides, I always like the pattern to continue. So say that this is the front of the card. I like that red flower like this. So then I will have to make sure that I cut, that I um, glue it down in this order. But let me show you that after I cut my three pieces. So here I have my three pieces, double-sided. So now I'm going to have to determine the order. So this, as you can see, will uh, continue the pattern so that, so let's do it like this, not upside down. So, so this will be front and back, which would leave this piece to be on the inside. So from this point on, I'm going to place it down like this so I cannot make a mistake. And uh, yeah, so I'm now going to ink around the edges, glue everything down, and uh, I will get back to you. Okay, so I took a craft mat now because I'm going to use some hot glue. I cut and inked and glued down my mats, as you can see, and I also did some uh, corner chomping here with one of the We Are Memory Keepers corner chompers uh, to get this stump effect here. I like that a lot. So now I can write a message here on this solid or nearly solid color. And now on to decorating the front of the card. So 
very small as you can see but these come in the larger sizes as well you have the big shot and you have well several others personally i have uh, the larger one that i have is an electric one because i don't like to crank uh, all of these uh, dies that i uh, that i'm that i'm using but if i use very few or very small dies i usually use this little one so this is also very uh, handy to take with you uh, when you travel although it is quite heavy so it's not suitable for your suitcase i think but in my case for instance i can take it to my mom if i'm going to stay a couple of days with her and uh, well i can do some crafting so let's do it so they always come with these kind of plates and i am using the base plate putting my dies well let's put them like this now always um, put the side that you want to uh, use. So in my case, I want it to be blue. Put it onto the dies like that. So don't do it like this because it will be uh, mirrored then. But do it like that. So there you go. So cover the dies and then cover the entire thing with your cutting plate. So. Usually they come with embossing plates as well, so use the cutting plate because I'm gonna cut. And now just feed it through your die cutting machine. Like that. And crank. So there you go. Oh, you might even use this piece here <laughs> if you have a very tiny die. Now, how to get these dies, these die cut uh, from the die? I always use this kind of pricking pen and then just push through these holes that most of the dies will have. Now I've cut two tiny pieces that I'm going to stick onto each other and then uh, I also I'm going to glue these down like this. Now first I'm going to round the corners and for that I will use another of the We Are Memory Keepers corner chompers. These are the round corners and they have 3 8 and 1 8 of an inch corners. Now for the larger piece here I'm going to use the larger corners so just stick it stick it into the uh, piece here like this and then uh, just cut like this now i'm going to use this one here so i'm going to stick it into here there you go and for the smaller one i'm going to use the uh, one eighth of an inch. I always use hot glue this is by boss and this is not a craft gun in the sense that I did not buy it in a craft store I actually went to some Home Depot uh, do-it-yourself store for the guys let's say and I bought myself some actual good hot glue gun when they are manufactured by uh, crafting companies, they usually are pink or some girly color, which is fine by itself. But in my experience, the quality, I find it lacking most of the times. So 
So these pink hot glue guns, they don't actually get really hot. They are not as strong as these nail ones and I know, I know. But I don't know how to express it in another way. You know what I mean. Solid as a rock. Now you can't remove these anymore unless you tear up everything. thinking does it need something else well I could do a corner piece here or some enamel dots or some wings I'll, I'll think about it and then I will show you what I'm gonna do okay so I decided to do some banners So that is pretty fun, I think. Now I'm thinking, will I add something here, like a bow? Yeah, I think I'm gonna do some blings or something, so I'll get those. As a finishing touch, I'm considering adding some glitter glue around this one. So let's go with the Nouveau Crystal Drops and hope for the best. So it hasn't dried yet, of course, but here you can see the effect. So let's leave it to dry and I usually take at least two hours and with these Nouveau Crystal drops probably longer, probably four hours or maybe even six or twelve depending on how fast it dries but they don't dry very fast is my experience so better wait too long than too short. So let me get back to you once this has dried. Okay, so this has dried and gives a lovely, subtle, pearly effect. Now, I'm not done yet because I was thinking this is a bit boring compared to all of this. So what I did off camera is die cut two leaves from some design paper. And this is still the same Bow Bunny Boulevard design paper, double sided. Now I showed you the piece that I had left over to, uh, to mat this, but I also had these tiny strips left over like this one. And that is uh, how I made these and also these. So the smaller pieces, all of them were scraps left over from that micro album project. And uh, so we are still within the two sheets of uh, 12 inch paper counting the micro album and this card just saying be frugal and you can get a lot of bang for your buck so let's glue these down there you go so it's very simple and yet it gives you a lot of fun uh, elements to decorate so I hardly used anything but the paper. So there's two of these little blings and three of these flowers, but the rest of it is all the design paper. 
So very easy to do. And you will have a nice card to uh, either send out as is or give with this uh, uh, micro album. So let's say to hand it like this to the person and then with your well wishes in the card and then this being the present. So here's a nice little set for you. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, guys, to make this little card. I hope you feel inspired to be frugal with all of your papers and with all of your materials. And uh, as, as you know, I only used two sheets of design paper to create both of these. And uh, now I only have this strip left over and this I can throw out. <laughs> Alright guys, let me know what you think in the comment section below. Press the like if you like this video and I will see you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye bye!